Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like the description says today, we're doing a video on uh, bumper support brackets because you know what the most annoying thing in the world is? A shaky bumper. Exactly, nobody likes it. Trucks pulling in, bumpers all doing this number and it looks goofy and nobody likes that. And uh, we're gonna show you uh, two different ways to do it. The right way, the kind of the right way, and the wrong way. So the wrong way is just not to have one at all, but. Anyway, we're gonna flip the camera around. We'll show you these brackets that we have, and uh, we're gonna show you the right way to put that bumper on. All right, so we got a 389 here, which we're gonna be doing a whole video on this truck. Uh, we just kind of got it finished up uh, today. We're doing the last little bit, and I thought, you know what? Uh, let's make a video about this because we have these brackets and we've got this bumper. And so what we did is we went ahead and we installed it the way I've seen a lot of people do it. Uh, and the way that this bumper is installed is not, I'm not gonna say it's incorrect, but there's a better way. So this is how a lot of people will go with a factory bracket. You'll run your bolt through here, it goes down and you'll see, let me zoom in a little bit. You see right there? So you basically take a piece of pipe, you cut it and you make a spacer and you put a bolt in there. But if you'll notice that bolts at an angle, um, the pipe, it's not got a real good positive like contact on the bumper. Um, kind of everything about that. It's just, it's a little unsightly, but the biggest thing with that is uh, structurally, that's not the safest way to do that. Like the bumper's gonna, the bumper still has a lot of, uh, it'll have a lot of give if you're to run into something with that. It's not gonna be structurally sound. So what we've done is we made these brackets. And I actually have these brackets set up for a 20 inch or a 22 inch bumper. And that's gonna bolt right on the frame, just like they need to. They go straight down and they've got just the right amount of the angle and everything else you'll see when we do the install um, so that it goes nice, sits on the bumper nice and flat and everything looks good. Um, it's a really simple process doing this. Um, if you're putting a bumper on of a line mount or whatever, you, you've got all your mounting stuff. And then when you get to this point, if you did not have a set of these brackets, or if you've done it this way, uh, again, that'll work, but it's not, it's not optimal. Right, Chuck? Right. Not optimal. What are you reading books over here for? What is that? I was looking at our ad. Oh yeah, the semi-casual truck show, August 5th and 6th in Crossville, Tennessee. Are you gonna go? Probably. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I, I kind of have to go, right? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> So, shock! We just got new magazines. And he's all checking them out. We got work to do, bud. We got work. We got we got this this five minute process to do here. You ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. Here's a better side by side comparison of our bracket versus the factory one. Uh, it looks very similar, very similar, except you can tell we're basically just two inches longer. So that's for an 18 inch Texas Square, and this one here is for your 20 inch bumper and then if you wanted something even bigger we also have them right there for a 22 inch bumper so you've got a uh, you know the red is obviously your factory 18 inch 20 inch bumpers in the middle and then if you needed a, one for a 22 inch bumper we've got those as well um quick easy way to make your bumper more sturdy i hope this is on the right direction Man, things like turbo. Did you see how fast that came off? It's crazy. All right, what else do we need here? I can't reach the tools. Okay. Oh, thanks. So do that guy there. Oh, hang on. Wait. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. It's up here. There it is. I can't see. Can't see nothing. Get my head in here. Oh. Go, go, gadget power wrench. Man, so hard to do. There we go, look at that, that is fancy. Okay, so here's what we got. That was on the frame. Bolt went through there. Big gigantic spacer. Uh, it went the other direction, but, and then you had your nut on the top. And so if you go to hit something, the first thing that gives is this dude and it goes, cocks this way, which as soon as that does it, this little bolt's gonna give and your bumper's gonna fold super easy. Um, so with these brackets, once that's on there, 
bolt goes through here and it's positively connected right to the bumper. So an impact is actually pushing this whole bracket and you don't have this piece bending first. So, I mean, they're not real expensive and it's a lot easier way and it looks better uh, about your bumper like this. And we've also got them, like I said, with a two inch taller deal here and you can do them with a 22 inch bumper. So uh, I guess I should just put this on. Yeah. yeah. And then quit talking about it and just do it. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds good. Okay. We're gonna put the bracket on. I got, um, I got bolts. I gotta swap them back out. We're gonna start at the top, which is this guy, an 18 millimeter, which is this guy. Wait a minute, which one is the 18? No, that's the 18. We're going with this one. Um, you know what else we need, Chuck? We what? don't have everything. We need anti-seize. I already put it on there for you. You know, like, start calling me princess or something. I'm like, <laughs> high maintenance. We pre-anti-seized your bolts for you, sir. <laughs> Ow! There's a bracket there. Okay. We're set that dude like that. And then, that's not the right nut. Wait a minute, where did that go? Wait, 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 wait. Try try try. Try. Let me get it started without it. Look at that. Look, just look at it. Okay. 18. Put it back here. I'm not going to get this super tight. I'm just going to get it snug. That way we can still kind of uh, maneuver this around a little bit if we need to. I went the wrong dang way. Come on, man. <laughs> man, what's wrong with you? This is your first day? Second. But I slept at a Holiday Inn last night. Okay, that's the right way now. There we go. Thanks. No, oh, I got all over my hands. Oh, I got in a fight with a robot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they're they're bolted in place. They're a little bit loose. Now you tighten them up. Good to go. Bumper's not going nowhere. Where's that bumper going? Nowhere. That's right. Uh, back to tight mode. Look out, there's a bumper there. If this was a NASCAR race and this is a pit stop, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell everybody we lost. Just might as well pull her around, put her in the trailer. That's pretty loud. There you go, it's on. Man, that is a lot of work. Do this shaky test. Shaky test? Yeah. You want to crank it up and see if it shakes? Should we do both sides first? Probably, yeah. Probably yeah. best. But, I mean, like, like so... Let me see it. Yeah. This is with the bracket on it now. And you can see clearly back there how much cleaner that looks, A. And B, you got to understand from seeing that, that that is going to be a heck of a lot stronger than doing it this way. And again, I mean, this isn't the wrong way. If a person wants to do it this way, that's fine. Um, we just made these brackets because it's a better way of doing it. torque that a little bit more if you want. Um, it ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. No. Alright. Are we done? Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know. Are we done? Yeah. Looks pretty done to me. Yeah. You see if it shakes? Sure. 
no shake shakes. Them. No shakes. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Um, it's really simple. We just put some brackets on a bumper, but you can buy those on our website at semicasualshow.com. Uh, not real expensive and super easy to do. Uh, much better uh, way to mount uh, your bottom support brackets on a 20 inch bumper. And again, we have them for a 22 inch bumper as well. Uh, just just a little bit longer. Um, I don't know. It's just simple enough that I can do it. Anybody can do it. Other than that, don't forget we got a truck show coming up and that is on August. When is the truck show? 5th and 6th. August 5th and 6th at Crossville, Tennessee. Um, it's going to be a blast. I think we're going to have a ton of trucks there. So if you guys are looking for something to do in August, come out to the truck show. Otherwise, I guess my work is done here today. I'm completely finished, right? Uh, no, you're not. I'm not done. No. The bumper brackets are on the bumper. What do you mean I'm not done? You got to clean your mess up. <laughs> I'm almost done. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to clean my mess up, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Later.